new BMW i7 2022 electricity in the drive, streaming in the rear. The i7 will be rolling out in Europe as early as the end of 2022, while diesel and petrol engines will not be available until spring 2023. Externally and in the interior, the first electric version i7X Drive 60 hardly differs from the combustion engines. A huge illuminated kidney is emblazoned at the front, and a cinema screen awaits in the rear. The SUV trend does not stop at luxury sedans. But the electric drive, without which no new car is conceivable in Europe because of the Colorado 2 limits, brings new arguments for the conventional sedan shape due to the smaller frontal area. While Mercedes placed combustion engines and e-cars on different architectures in the luxury segment, BMW uses its cluster architecture Clark for both. When modifying Clark, BMW put a lot of brain power into upgrading the platforms for all drive types. The Munich-based company always gives the electric 7 series the i before the 7, but visually you can hardly tell it apart from the combustion engines. With a steeply rising, representative front and a kidney grille, the dimensions of which are hardly inferior to the classic radiator handle of the Rolls-Royce, which is technically related and will be in the future are courting customers, especially in the Far East. The new design is rather unfavorable for an electric car because it is aerodynamically disadvantageous. While Mercedes set a record for the EQS with a drag coefficient of 0.20, the i7 remains close to the electric SUV X with 0.24, but clearly beats the V8 model in the same shell. Ends of the body on the sides and to the front, extends to the waistline, even for a full-grown man. The wheelbase was only 5 mm longer, compared to the long wheelbase version of the predecessor, but a steeper rear window and correspondingly longer door openings make it much easier to get into the rear. The boot lid is naturally as high as the front and the rear then falls as steeply as the north face of the Eiger, but at the rear the i7 is most reminiscent of its predecessor without the E version, also because of the taillights. Inside, the i7 lives up to its modern drive system, there is certainly no shortage of touchscreens, networking and LED lighting. The lavishly dimensioned curved display in front of the steering wheel instruments and above the center console infotainment menu is still familiar from the electric SUVX, as is the polished crystal glass look for the iDrive controller, direction selector switch and seat adjustment. The format of large smartphones await the passengers, who can use them to slide an almost 80cm 8K screen from the roof lining. Roller blinds automatically darken the rear panes and place those sitting in the back in the first row of a two possibly three person cinema. With the touchscreen in the door, the person sitting in the back right can even slide his seat back into the so-called CEO position, but in doing so it folds the front passenger seat up so that nobody can sit there anymore. Films are provided by an Amazon Fire Stick, and sound is provided by a Bowers & Wilkins surround sound system with 32 loudspeakers and almost 200 watts of power. A 5G antenna receives the data. An optional personal eSIM is required, the second SIM card turns the car into another, digital and networked end device in the customer's ecosystem, according to BMW. With the personal eSIM as an extension of an existing mobile phone contract, they should be able to use the communication and networking functions particularly conveniently in the vehicle, even if the smartphone is not in the car. 544 horsepower at 5,000 revolutions per minute. BMW specifies the total torque is 745 newton meters. Not entirely unimportant, it is available in the comparatively wide engine speed range from 0 to 5,000 revolutions per minute, which should ensure proper acceleration even at higher speeds despite only one gear. From 0 to 100 km per hour, the e-machines catapult the empty 2,640 kg i7X Drive 60 in 4.7 seconds. The top speed is only reached at 240 km per hour.
The i7 BMW promises an M70X drive with significantly more than 600 horsepower and over 1,000 newton meters for the course of 2023. So much power naturally causes a higher power consumption of 21.2 to 26.4 kilowatt hours, 100 kilometers. The range should go down accordingly because the battery remains the same. The electric M performance model should accelerate to 100 km per hour in under 4 seconds, at least as fast as the M760 Li with V12 the turbo in the previous 7 series. As with the predecessor, the wheels of the new 7 series and the i7 are attached to a double wishbone front axle and a 5-link rear axle. An aluminum shear plate increases the torsional rigidity of the front end. The adaptive two-axle air suspension with automatic level control and electronically controlled dampers is standard on all variants. The system regulates the air supply to the individual wheels, which compensates for uneven loading. The air suspension also ensures that the vehicle ride height is optimal in every speed range. The sport mode lowers the body by 10 mm, in all other my modes the height level drops at speeds of more than 120 km per hour to improve aerodynamics. The shock absorbers adapt to the road surface and driving style. Rebound and compression vary steplessly and independently of each other. In addition, the choice of my modes influences the characteristics. A new electromechanical power steering with steering angle dependent transmission is now also standard in the 7 series, the power steering is speed dependent as usual. Two characteristic curves can be activated via the MI modes. They also have a more powerful sports brake system with brake calipers painted blue and 21 inch light alloy wheels with mixed tires. The new BMW 7 Series comes with 19 inches as standard, with 20 and 21 inches optionally available X-Works, and 22 inches in the original BMW M Performance Accessories range. Luxury sedans in the medium term. BMW intends to display the armada of assistance systems available by then in the so-called augmented view in the head-up display and thus directly in the driver's line of sight. It is also important to the people of Munich that the active cruise control with stop and go function and the steering and lane guidance assistant can be activated with a single button on the left steering wheel spoke. Right of way and wrong way warnings, the cross traffic warning at the front and the emergency stop assistant, which can be used in selected countries, are part of the range of functions of the driving assistant professional. The so-called assisted view in the instrument cluster provides an overview of the activated systems and their functionality. In other words, the middle area of the cockpit display shows a three-dimensional representation of the vehicle and its surroundings with cameras and sensors detecting cars, trucks and motorcycles in the lane currently being driven in and in any neighboring lanes.